All right, I didn't upload a video yesterday because um, we are in RL Minecraft <coughs> and it is very brutal. <coughs> and, uh, oh, one moment. Hey, I made copper. It's very brutal and I need to find a way to play a mod pack wait where'd my tree oh there's I need to find a way to play this mod pack and um, not result to vulgarities because boy howdy that is a thing that happens and I intend to keep my videos as close to yeah, PG-13 as I can. <coughs> and unfortunately, half the video is going to be me running up and down these stairs because I decided to live in this wizard's tower that I found. Any of you that have played Minecraft, I'm sure you watch lots of vanilla Minecraft. There's quite a few content creators I've watched that play vanilla. This mod is is vicious. It's it's like Dark Souls and Skyrim mixed with Minecraft. Like, in vanilla, going outside during the day, no big deal. You know, once you've got diamond armor, you're basically... Oh wait, I came out here for a purpose. Once you've come out, once you've got diamond armor and stuff, it's... Psh. But, with this particular mod, and if, if at any point during the video, the mic goes silent, for lengths of time it's because I turned it off because I'm saying bad words because I'm dying but uh, I love the new mods they've added the new mobs I meant to say I have enough what is that um, obsidian to build a portal I don't I don't know what's going on with this right here. I, I know I'm not going to be dumb enough to like break through it. What's hitting me? What's hitting me? Oh, why are you out here during the day? No, no, no. Please don't. No, 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 no. Why is he out here during the day? I can't kill him right now. Go away. Why are... No, they're not supposed to be out here. Close. Uh, they can break... They better not be able to break doors. No. And I don't... Good thing I wasn't carrying anything good with me. I think I threw a, a stone sword. Oh boy. Because now he's in my house. But, uh, yeah, that's, um... Even the... I, I've watched the, uh... Civilex, <clears throat> or... I don't know how to pronounce. Let me get my bucket of water at least. He's inside now, I have to deal with him. No. You'll see there's a... a... I can't really curse her to it, but those water droplets, there's a thirst gauge. Could you, could you just... die, thank you. Yeah, I see you out there. Why aren't you guys dying? It's the middle of the day. You're so... 
Oh, did they... Did the update change that? Now I have to be even more afraid of going outside during the day? Oh wait, that's what I wanted my water for. <sighs> but like I was saying, normally, in vanilla Minecraft, once you've got de- Whoa, 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 what? There's light in here. Where, where in the heck did he come from? Oh, why did they make it even harder? What is going on? Why are you guys in here? Do I need more torches? Oh, that's really not good. I was just trying to explain the fact that going outside during the day is terrifying. And now... That dark spot shouldn't be there. And, uh, there are seasons. Like, that tree used to be green. As much as I like that tree, and as much as I, uh... I live by this village. I don't ever really trade with villagers, because... I don't care. Um, in this mod pack, yeah, it's a mod pack. Um, you will get some of your early game anything from robbing villagers. If you can actually manage to find a village. I think I need to build some trap doors. But um, I want to try to explain a little bit about this mod pack before just dying and resulting to expletives. I'm gonna go ahead and go, oh, yay. So, uh, the whole copper theme, there we go. This was not my original skin, but I figured I'd make a cobalt, or find a good cobalt skin. But, um, <clears throat> they added the thirst meter, that little gray ball right there above my uh, level 4, that's like your temperature gauge. There is climate. If you are in a cold area, you will get hypothermia. If you are in a hot area, you will get I never remember that. Hypothermia and... Hyperthermia, I think it is. Yeah, hypo hyperthermia is like heat stroke or whatever. So, those are things that exist now. Unless you've got the proper... Oh, there we go. Unless you've got the uh, proper armor or whatever it would be. But, uh, like I was saying with the seasons and the thirst, and you've got, and yeah, it's nighttime, and I'm even reluctant to, you become so nervous about everything with this mod pack. Oh, yeah, I know I'm hurting. Um... Oh, please don't tell me I had all my bandages on me the last time I died. Oh, goodness. And, uh, so yeah, you'll die a lot. Your, as soon as I make these bandages, I'll explain a little bit more about that. Oh, that's not good at all either. Oh, that's eight. I should be alright with that. Your different body parts 
have their own health meter. I guess like these little spooky faces. If this reaches zero, you die. If this reaches zero, you die. If your if your legs or your feet reach zero, you get like slowness. I'm not sure what happens if your arms reach zero, but I'm I'm not really eager to find out. So headshots are a thing. I've been headshot by so many skeletons that it's not even funny. Full iron armor, sure no enchantments, but it, this has, and in this mod I always feel so, you know what, I'm just gonna go to bed. Um, mining minerals, there's mobs that will spawn randomly, like earth elementals that will spawn from mining minerals. Killing monsters will randomly spawn like zombie things or like the essence of death which aren't necessarily too tough but it, if it catches you off guard I think because that was like my last two deaths was uh over here on the other side of this tree. Oh, no, 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 no. See, here we go. It's begun. No, can I just land? I don't, oh, I don't have my ax on me. That was a, a gin, that was an air elemental. Um, please just get through the wall, please just get through the wall. Just break, just break, just break. Okay, I'm sort of covered. Um, I don't know why I was so stupid to have done that, because I know they hang around outside there at night. Um, <clears throat> oh no. The, uh, the, the, the death spirit grim reapery thing. I just killed something innocuous. It was like some one of the little greasy rat-like cobble things I was describing in yesterday's or the other day's video. And uh, oh, so I don't get any of that wood. Nice. Um, I just ooh, close that. Just killed some innocuous little thing and death spawned from it, or the Grim Reaper, or whatever they were called that up and I died two or three times like it was just literally right out in my front yard I killed a little creature death spawned from it and cheese killed me um, like you saw right there that gin if I hadn't been yeah I see you up there if I hadn't been smart enough to know get over my house so I don't plummet all the way to my death in vanilla you'll find yourself even with basic armor going you know I'm gonna I'm gonna walk for three days in any direction I'm I'm so reluctant to even go more than half a day's travel from this house that I happen to find to whereas death is so common in this my f oh and the other the f the quote unquote fun one moment I need to take a drink The other quote unquote a fun thing that happens is until you have a, a dedicated spawn point like a bed <clears throat> when you die it's random respawn and if you've ever played Minecraft or you know some of the things about Minecraft even just like when they talk about world size and stuff my saw. 
Um, the world that's... I don't know how it works in this mod, if it's still normal Minecraft parameters. There we go. But the worlds generated in Minecraft are massive. Like, it's comparable to, the, like, the planet Jupiter. In vanilla Minecraft, spawn is spawn. It's like this initial point in the world that... That's where, if you don't have a, a bed or a spawn point, that's where you will spawn. Is at pretty close to the center of the world. This mod decided to go ahead and take that little comfort away. Because, hey, it's realistic. Oh, there's more of them. Um, my first three lives in this mod pack were... I died of hypothermia. I spawned into an arctic wasteland and literally wandered around lost until I died of hypothermia. Respawned in another arctic wasteland and found a trapped dungeon thing which almost killed me and I found some okay stuff and then I died of hypothermia. My fourth spawn or my third spawn, it, it was all just a, a blur of death and disappointment. One of them was, I was like, please don't let me spawn in another. Minecraft has like a dozen different biomes. Why do I keep spawning in the Arctic? Oh, <coughs> oh, sorry about that. They're like, oh, so you don't like spawning in the Arctic. We can spawn you in the desert. So I spawned in a desert and almost died of heat stroke and oh that's where all my bandages were. Almost died of heat stroke until I was mercifully ended by just some random mob. You can't punch trees to get wood. You have to why do I keep looking at this? Cause I'm just so nervous. Do I have enough iron to make some armor? Like everything about this mod pack just it has you on edge the whole time like I said all of my adventures up till this point I've I'm reluctant to like I said I luckily they've there's there's the wave uh, there's the spawn once you've got a, a bed or something. Wait, why am I doing this? I have to I have to do this. Oh, I'm just right there. Yeah. Oh, my foot's broken. I should heal that. And also, you'll notice. I'm fully sated. I've got full food meter. Being full... Being full doesn't heal you anymore. I don't even know if I really want to explore, if I want to go do something dangerous for this video. I think I just want my, my first video to be like, Hey, welcome to this. You don't even get permanent torches anymore. Yeah, you can make permanent torches, like the vanilla torches. Yay. Once you find uh, glowstone, and I'll be, I'll be gosh darned if I'm going into the nether to, to get glowstone. <gasps> Alright, so, I'm a proper kobold. I'm a good lizardy kobold. This mod pack decided to go with the stinky rat. Where'd he go? Though I normally end up dying chasing these little things. They went with the more I guess Dungeons and Dragon-y 
little rat creatures. And they will steal your stuff if you've died. I need to get rid of this tree, it's making me nervous. Uh, oh, where are you little guys keep coming from? And why are you out during the day? Why did they change that? Okay, at least I'm doing a little bit of damage. And, uh, they've actually given levels a... a I'm sorry, you get so suspicious of sounds and... I'm gonna step inside to explain this. You've got like skill trees. Um, this iron sword I've got, and this iron pickaxe I've got, I could not even equip them or wield them until I was level eight in attack for the sword and level eight in mining for the pick. Um, I can't use an iron shovel until I'm level 8 in gathering. Even using a bow, I think, was level 2 in agility. So your levels actually serve purposes apart from enchanting now. If it's the item has an enchantment, you better hope you've spent some points in magic. You can't even harvest wheat until level 2 in farming. Luckily, luckily, which I found really beneficial, and those are good creatures, that's why I'm not, like, deathly afraid of them. Um, almost everything drops some sort of meat. Donkeys and horses drop horse meat. Those little rat kobolds drop rabbit meat. This is where I died when... Down in caves, doing the cave stuff. You know, finding my way up, and I was like, oh, good, the surface, I'm so, and I was like, I can see my home right there. And I think I was like, right here, and I jumped up and put that torch down, an unlit torch, because you need a box of matches. And I heard, the creeper sound, and was like, no, 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 no. I got to about here. And a skeleton archer drops down into my stairwell. And he didn't one-shot me, but I was still in the panic mode of the creeper. Apparently the creeper blew up and didn't kill the skeleton. And then the skeleton one-shot me and... Okay, where did those big ice creatures go? Oh. Um, and like another mod I've played, Hexit, which is a two battle towers. Okay, there's another mod I played called Hexit, which is like Dungeons and Dragons in Minecraft. It adds a lot more in the way of adventure. Like, I suck at building. Like, I'll have to show you my, uh, like, that tree is pretty epic. Um, these things right here, they're like 10 floors tall, and like each floor gets progressively harder. In that other mod pack I have, where... Ooh, another... I'm, I'm not going in there. Um, that other mod pack, you get some really epic gear pretty early on, so you're like, yeah, I'm an adventurer, and I got lots of cool gear, and... Like, there's chocobos, and, and pirate revolvers, and boots of... Could I... I'm gonna horribly regret this. I... Oh, I can see two treasure chests from right here. Okay. No. Nope, 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 nope. In, in this mod pack, what I'm doing right now is an insanely bad idea. Already, no. Okay, so they are burning up. Get away! No, die. Oh, and another thing? You have to physically 
pick things up by either clicking on them. Oh, he's got armor. You have to physically pick things up by clicking on them or crouching near them. There's no more. I'm just going to destroy that so I can hopefully... There. Until skeleton archers start dropping it. Yeah, see, I knew. Good in here. Oh, I like this. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Get in here. Oh, heavens, heavens to Betsy. Um, one moment. I'm gonna shut off the mic because the wife's walking up the stairs, and I don't want to spam y'all. not dying for some reason so I'm just gonna run home oh, I'm dying of starvation so I mm. I starved to death that looked like some nice stuff hopefully I can um, find where I died and watch this will be the night that okay um how I said those uh the Grim Reaper things randomly spawn when stuff dies fail oh that makes me hurt whenever I do that um they will I don't remember which way I were in they will sometimes randomly spawn when you sleep at night because death some uh, Death will sometimes mistake a sleeping person for a dead person. So there's a chance that even when you go to... Why are there so many of you guys? Even when you go to sleep at night, there's a chance that you will be a... What the heck was that? So yeah, all in all, this mod is... It is not for. It, it, like I said, it's it's like Minecraft meets Dark Souls meets Dungeons and Dragons. But whereas with Dark Souls, which I've played a little bit, so I know it's about learning the repetition and the patterns and the enemy placements. This is all. Oh hey, that was easy. Oh, that was was that redstone? Heart dust. It adds a whole bunch of new items. It adds a whole bunch of new. But like you saw, that was just like I'm literally not even half a day's journey from my house. I'm literally just coming back here to grab the remains of what I dropped. I wanted to pick up bandage. I see. I can't even use that bandage because you have to be magic level six. You have to be level 8 to use that. Luckily I can use that. Have there been anything else I grabbed? I really... I don't know what the blast was for, but I can't use it. Oh, it's that... Jerk. 
Yeah, shouldn't you be like dying to? Where's your health bar? Where empathetic zombie, the pale rider? I don't know why he's not dying. Or he doesn't have a health bar. He must drop something really nice. Please do just die. I haven't even... I guess I'll have to, at some other video, show you uh, some of the, the... Oh no, where's my... Okay, there's the tree. But, uh... Yeah, it definitely makes it... I just happened to randomly spawn near this village and this wizard's tower. That's what I've been calling it. But, so yeah, there's there's no more punching trees for wood. You need to make a flint axe. And yeah, flint is gathered from sand like always. And sticks, you can get... Steal my stuff. No, you steal my stuff. Ooh, what was that? Hit coal and a gold nugget. But uh, yeah, I'm not gonna go. Oh, and see my heat gauge is going up, even though it's fall. But uh, yeah. So this, this is the wizard's tower that I've adopted as my home. That house over there is abandoned. I could probably live there. This village over here had some nice stuff that I just all stole because I really needed it. Because gathering resources is not as simple. Harvesting crops is not as simple. I still kind of don't like the fact that those zombies were spawned in my... Uh... Oh wait, I got some good torches. But yeah, like even torches now. The, if you make them from sticks and coal like normal, you need a book of matches, which requires paper and wood slabs to make, and they're limited. So yeah, just everything about this mod is just brutal and prepare to die, and I find it fun, even though it you get really nervous going, like I said, like as far as this render will go and I mean like yeah that tower was over like that way a little bit <laughs> this is like the extent of my exploration there's uh, I can't see it from over there maybe if I stand up here there's like two spiral staircases that go down to like I don't know, I think a mausoleum or something, because one of them goes to like, it is like all the zombies ever, and then there's another one which is like all the witches ever, and, oh I'm getting hungry, they're both brutal, but yeah, you will starve to death, you will thirst to death, you will probably not fall to death as often because that's something that Minecrafters are used to. Let me see if I've got there over here. Purified. Oh no, my purified water in the other room died. Well, I've got that right there. So um, one of the other things with the thirst is. So here's water. Once you make a canteen, it's easier to... Why did I throw that meat on the floor? Once you... <sighs> Once you've made canteens or bottles, most of the time you're going to be drinking from just water sources. And you'll see my water things turn green, because I'm drinking dirty water you actually have to purify your water. Which, luckily enough, is either buckets of water and you burn it with coal, 
which you can't turn into an infinite water source because <laughs> they figured that out. Early game, what you're going to want to do for thirst is if you can make a canteen, which is one, two, three, four, five, and six pieces of leather. If you can find, it can't be coal, it has to be charcoal, which is still done the same way of burning wood. Charcoal and paper will make you filters. If you've got a glass bottle of water or a canteen of water, you can bind those two on a table and it makes purified, which doesn't poison you. But yeah, no, um, I'm definitely going to be playing this more. That's the reason I didn't upload yesterday, is because I tried to start making a video and um, it, it, it got bad and I said lots of bad words. And I didn't really want to have to like mute it and replay over all of it because uh, that would have been hard to do. So I think I'm going to call it good for now. I'll try to get better at doing this. What's likely going to happen is, I don't know, I'll have to get real good at reaching down and turning off the microphone real fast when I have a feeling that things are going south. But they go south very quick and it, it, you die so fast sometimes that you, you don't even know what hit you. And that's where the bad words come from. Is you're just like, oh hey, I went and gathered. It, you, you will a lot of the time take off all your stuff and leave it. If you're like, oh, I'm just gonna go downstairs and harvest my crops that are right in my front yard. Do 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 do, and out of nowhere, bam! You're like, what the bad words, bad words, bad words. That's why I developed because I hated running all the way down these stairs every time I died in my front yard. And even this makes me nervous, because I have a feeling there's going to be that one time that I... <clears throat> oh, hey! Look at that. That that wasn't planned. That... Every other time, I fell right through there perfectly. But hey, I guess the, the first time it happens would be on video, would be the uh, proper time for it to happen. At least I died in my house, and not in my yard or I really should put a door here I think this is where things are spawning but uh yeah like I said I'm gonna oh I thought I heard a creeper sound I don't know definitely gonna try to play this more I didn't want to start the world fresh like I've seen some of the people playing this mod do because Nobody wants the video to... Well, I'm sure there are people that would want the video to just be watching the poor player just die a bunch. One of the other players I will... People I watched, they, I guess, done a preliminary and then their recorded video, they luckily spawned somewhere safe. But like I said, my first world, my first experience was my first three deaths were of heat and temperature and starvation and but um yeah I'm gonna go ahead and call that wave his copper goodbye y'all see you next time while I tie a bunch doing things dying <laughs>